Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking Lego Star Wars and a ton of new sets which were just revealed at New York Toy Fair. Love is in the air, and I've got a Valentine giveaway. Just comment and subscribe, and you can win a prize. Thanks to my friends over at the Toy Arc for their amazing coverage. I put a link down in the description below so you can check out their full coverage. First up from Star Wars The Force Awakens, we have the First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack. This set has 117 pieces and retails for $14.99. As with most battle packs, it's all about the figures, and it's really great that we get two First Order Stormtroopers, one Flame Trooper, as well as this officer. The minifigures look pretty standard, but it's always great to get more troopers, and I'm really loving these newer shield pieces. The build for the speeder is certainly nothing to write home about, but it's a good addition to tie it all together. It is important to note that just like the last wave, this battle pack will be $14.99 instead of the $12.99 that we came to know. Next up, we have the Rathtar Escape Set. This set contains 836 pieces and will retail for $79.99. This set contains five minifigures, including Han Solo, Chewbacca, Bala Tick, and two Guavian security soldiers. This set depicts that great scene with the two Rathtars that we can see here. It's a really interesting build. On the left hand side, this structure here seems to be the containment cell for the Rathtars. The Rathtars come in two different colors and feature a really interesting build with all the different tentacles and teeth. And I love how they can all be positioned to hold onto minifigures. The entire build makes a pretty nice playset, but it's certainly a bit of an interpretation of the original scene. As in the movie, this was all an interior, and here it seems very open. I like how the platforms are all raised up, and I like how this is one overall playset versus a ship like we mostly get in Star Wars. And the minifigures look pretty nice, especially those Guavian security soldiers. And last from Force Awakens, we have the Jakku Quad Jumper. This set contains 457 pieces and will retail for $49.99. This set contains five minifigures, including Rey, Finn, BB-8, Unkar's Thug, and a First Order Stormtrooper. And it's interesting how none of these characters are actually exclusive to this set. The Quad Jumper was a lesser known vehicle that was only shown in the background of a scene on Jakku but it definitely seems pretty neat in this constructed form. The Quad Jumper is of course called the Quad Jumper because of those four large turbines. And I like the way it looks framing that cockpit there. From above, we can get a better sense that this ship is a bit of a brick, but it has a pretty nice overall design with lots of little details and compartments. It certainly has a pretty imposing look. There's these fin designs everywhere and there does seem to be a set of stud shooters. I'm definitely curious to see how well this one does as it's a ship that not many people are familiar with and there's no exclusive characters. And now some sets from the original and prequel trilogies. First up, we have the Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack. This set contains 122 pieces and retails for $14.99. This set contains four minifigures. From left to right, we have Dengar, Bosk, Forlom, and IG-88. It's interesting to note that the Dengar is different than the one that we just got from the Freemaker Adventures. And all these four minifigures are definitely very desirable. And let's just say they looked really great at Toy Fair. But in all seriousness, none of these minifigures were on display. The speeder bike looks a lot like ones that we've gotten before but it does feature some nice pops of color. Next up, we have the Darth Vader transformation. This set contains 282 pieces and it will retail for $24.99. This set contains three minifigures, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, and Anakin Skywalker before the transformation. This set contains a really nice platform full of all sorts of tools to complete the transformation. At the center, we have the table and this can be spun around to turn Anakin into Darth Vader. At the very back here, we can see the spot that holds the Darth Vader helmet and allows you to place it on the minifigure once it's done. In addition to the minifigures included with the set, we also have some droids to help with the procedure. And I really like the overall look of them, as well as the spot to hold the lightsabers. This set reminds me a lot of the carbon freezing chamber, but I think this one might be a little bit better because I think the overall scene looks really nice and there's some very desirable minifigures. From the Clone Wars, we have the Republic Fighter Tank. This set has 305 pieces and will retail for $24.99. This set contains four minifigures, a clone trooper gunner, Ayla Secura, and two battle droids. And I'm definitely most excited about the Ayla Secura figure. The Republic Fighter Tank is a remake and I know a lot of you guys were really excited this one was coming back. It has a really interesting design and I really love the color scheme. The build has some artillery with some stud shooters as well as an opening hatch. Overall, I really like this one and the $24.99 price range seems to be really good. Next up, we have sets from the Freemaker Adventures. First up, we have the Arrowhead. This set contains 775 pieces and will retail for $79.99. 
This set contains five minifigures, including Xander, Cordy, Roger, Query, and a Stormtrooper. And Query is definitely the coolest minifigure in the set. The Arrowhead is definitely named because of this arrow-like shape. And it's a really interesting design with pops of dark red throughout. Towards the front, we can see the main canopy, which is an interesting printed piece. And at the center, we can see this bubble canopy. From the back here, we can see the ship's engines, as well as some of the sticker detail. There's weapons on all sides of the ship. And it's great that it comes with this little vehicle accessory. Because of this arrowhead name, the ship does seem to be a bit flat for my taste. But it's interesting that this is the largest set from the Freemaker Adventures yet. And the other set from Freemaker Adventures is the Tracker 1. It contains 557 pieces, and it retails for $69.99. This set contains four minifigures, including Rowan, Emperor Palpatine, the MOC Hunter Droid, and a Probe Droid. And I'm personally loving that MOC Hunter Droid. What a cool headpiece. The Tracker 1 has an interesting overall design with these three major fins, and it kind of reminds me of the TIE Striker, as well as the TIE Defender. The building techniques here are definitely a bit unique, and I like the use of that new shield piece from Nexo Knights at the front. While this is notably one of the more unique ships we've seen lately, I wouldn't call it my favorite. The design seems a little bit disjointed, and that center section doesn't seem to pull me in. Next up, we've got three large buildable figures. First from the original trilogy, we've got the Stormtrooper Commander. This set contains 100 pieces and retails for $24.99. And it's interestingly our first Stormtrooper in this form. The helmet looks really nice, and the accessories add a lot of detail. Next, we have probably my favorite buildable figure of all time, which is the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. This set has 452 pieces, and retails for $54.99. The Scout Trooper build looks pretty nice, and the new helmet looks great. But the most exciting part is that this is our first buildable figure to also come with a large vehicle. This set is going to make a really nice display piece with the stand that we can see there. But at $54.99, this is definitely the most expensive set from the line that we've gotten. And from Rogue One, we have a Scarif Shore Trooper. This set contains 89 pieces and retails for $24.99. Again, this figure looks nice with a great helmet sculpt and some great printing on the torso and the shoulder. On the whole, I really like these buildable figures when they are the troopers, but the whole line is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. And last but certainly not least, we've got the new Star Wars Advent Calendar for this year, and overall I'd say it looks really nice. There's 309 pieces and it retails for $39.99. And they did show off all the builds and figures, but I didn't want to spoil too much here. So there you have it, folks. A ton of new LEGO Star Wars sets. And I'm really excited overall from everything I'm seeing. There's some rehashes and, of course, some new ones. But overall, I think there's a lot of value that LEGO's bringing to its fans. And one thing that I really appreciate is that they're making sets from every corner of the Star Wars universe. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of all these announcements? And which of the sets was your favorite? And don't forget, your comment enters you for the giveaway. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time you've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Look here to learn all about the Spider-Man Homecoming sets. And don't forget to subscribe.